This year, we will also have the first ever Women's Grand Swiss, which is another step in Fidi's efforts to promote female chess. All right, so you guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna highlight this for a second. We're we're gonna get back to this uh, this the statement a little bit later on. Next article: Fide picks breast implants as a sponsor for women's chess. Last year, the Fide Council decided that 2022 would be the year of women in chess. And a few months before this banner year, they announced their sponsorship deal with a global medical technology company. Words chosen carefully, carefully, uh, words carefully chosen, presumably so as to not have to type out the words as a company specializing in breast implants. It seems inco incongruous that FIDE would appoint 2022 as the year to celebrate women in chess and to then choose a sponsor whose business model is reliant on female insecurity. 92% of cosmetic procedures are performed on women. There are a few sponsorships that seem at first glance less appropriate. All right. Um, Fide's statement leans heavily on the concept of post-breast cancer reconstruction in order to legitimize the sponsorship with managing director Dana Reznis Ozola providing some statistics on the prevalence of breast cancer in women. One in eight was fewer than 10% of those electing to undergo reconstructive surgery afterwards. The specter of breast cancer is real and terrible. However, Fide's focus on post-cancer reconstruction is an unrepresentative portion of reality. Around 75% of breast augmentations are performed for cosmetic reasons. All right. Okay. Fide focuses heavily on breast cancer and wellness in their announcement, but this is not the focus of the Motiva website. The site is instead filled with testimonials from women who underwent surgery in order to fulfill aesthetic ideals. A business model almost wholly reliant on female low self-esteem is not the company's only issue. An article by Canal Capital for the investment research website Seeking Alpha lists them as a bearish bad investment due to several factors. Okay, this gets better considering that I use Seeking Alpha. I'm, I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go find the article on on ESTA later and uh, read it. Anyway, firstly, that the health and safety qualities of breast implants are under question. Secondly, that establishment labs is reliant on only a few historical studies in order to claim safety for its implants. And thirdly, that the main safety study has apparent has apparent conflicts of interest. All right. Okay, this just keeps getting better and better. Dr. Sforza is, is a key figure with regards to apparent conflicts of interest. Between April 2013 and April 2016, the Dolan Park Clinic, led by Dr. Sforza, conducted an independent study into the safety of Establishment Lab's Motiva implants. The study resulted in a peer-reviewed article in the Aesthetic Surgery Journal in September 2017. According to a potential pending lawsuit between 2013 and 2016, Dr. Sforza appeared at numerous events promoting Motiva products with Juan Jose Chacon Quiros, who just happens to be the CEO of Establishment Labs. Okay. By the way, the fact that there are footnotes here says a lot. You see like one, two, three, four, five. Um, it says quite a bit. All right. In 2016, Dr. Sforza received share options for 36,953 Class A shares from Establishment Labs worth $900,000 at the time. In 2017, the independent study was published without the connections between Dr. Sforza and his co-authors being made clear. They were later discovered after Establishment Labs floated their IPO. The other shareholders of Establishment Labs appear to be working towards a class action lawsuit for violation of federal securities, law. securities laws. As the company now has no independent peer-reviewed articles investigating the safety of their product and have not yet been FDA approved. In 2019, Dr. Sforza was receiving a salary from Establishment Labs of $10,000 to $15,000 monthly, and in April 2018 received an option for a further 68,233 shares, bringing the 2019 market value of his shares to $2.5 million. All right. Wow. Canal Capital LLC, writing for Seeking Alpha, noted back in 2019 that it would be highly unusual for Dr. Sforza to promote Motiva from as early as 2015 in places so diverse as Iran, Uruguay, and Kazakhstan without receiving payment for his services. One surgeon stated that this level of engagement without compensation would be unthinkable. 
Whilst establishment labs claimed that the study was independent, the involvement of Dr. Sforza and all his co-authors, bar one, apparently being hired or paid for by establishment labs, throws that claim into serious doubt. The lack of credible peer-reviewed studies on establishment labs products calls into question Fide's commitment to doing business with safe, ethical companies. Almost a year after we published our anonymous article on the experience of women in the chess community, very little has changed and women remain marginalized and underrepresented group. Uh, we at Lee Chess are committed to doing our part to reduce gender inequality in chess, and we want to extend an invitation to women to share your stories with us. If you would be happy for your comments to be published, either with you, names attached anonymously, please send a letter. All right, well, before we go there, let's see. What, what, what is going on, speaking of this company? Oh, that's not what you want to see. That's not what you want to see at all. That's very disappointing, actually. That's very disappointing. Um, it's up 6.5% today. Very disappointing. All right, let's get back to the article. Very disappointing. Um, all right. Okay. Uh, okay, so here are some comments from, the, from, from women involved in chess. All right. Um, here we go. Before publication, we reached out to some women involved in the chess community, and their responses are below. Most requested anonymity for fear of retribution from FIDE or other professional consequences. Their comments have been edited for clarity. Wow. Now, that, I think that says a lot to you guys. See, like, you, you, see, you see this. Like, they're worried. Basically, they're worried that, like, if they say something negative, they're, they're going to they're gonna get like, screwed over. And... Um, you know that's it's really really disappointing i would also add that's one thing that to me it's it's really important um you know i'm very fortunate to be in the situation i am these days you know being being a streamer playing chess at the same time having such a huge community such a wide audience that i can reach out to because like there are people who in the positions of power do have to say things and um i think it's very important because it is true that for a lot of players who just play the game of chess they are afraid of speaking out about things that things that are um things that they they feel very strong about that are negative whether it's fide or whether it's chess because the, there can be retribution like has fide retaliated against players in the past well for example i mean if you retaliated not directly retaliated but i'll give you an example you know if, if i say something really nasty about fide for example and you know i don't have a certain standing fide could be like okay well you know we're we're, we're just not going to invite this guy to this tournament we're, you know it might be a very important tournament where we're not going to invite him and um there have been there have been examples and it's not intentional but where certain people have been promised spots in tournaments and randomly they end up not being they they end up not being in in the series of events um i'll leave it at that because i don't i don't really want to get into specifics but uh but but that does happen all right so let's keep going um the, the fact the fact that women in chess are a minority minority is a fact but that doesn't stop us from loving the game however in life as as in the chess world we are facing some stereotypes that encourage us to look act and think a certain way and the fact that a company that encourages women to change their body artificially sponsors the most elite chess competition is just not on the level i have recently been present at a chess tournament where sexism was present no surprise there by the way that's that's not news um that's really not news as there as there was a written dress code for all players but at the end only women had to follow it while men were let free to dress however they want right oh i skipped a comment oh let me finish this one sorry um uh as as there okay sorry the men were free to dress however they want arbors asked me and, and other women to change minutes before the game this is a similar problem it just sends out a message that encourages women to look a certain way and that the the way we look is not enough not okay I'm not saying it's not okay to change if it's for yourself only, but having a sponsor for the most elite women's event is different and not exactly the message that FIDE should be sending to women from an anonymously, anonymously titled female player. Right. Um, oh, right. So, so yeah, I missed this first one, which said, I wonder what FIDE's, what, what the message FIDE wants to convey with this partnership. We have a sport where men and women can compete on a level playing field, which is also free, free from sexualized uniforms. And our next great move is breast enlargement. That says a lot about FIDE officials' view of women. Amen. 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 Amen to that. Um, I mean, I could go, I could go on and on, but 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 I but, but I, I don't really want to want to go there right now. But yeah, that's that's I mean, hundred percent legit. Hundred percent legit. Um, I mean, a hundred percent legit. I've I've already seen comments online from people saying that they hope top prizes or they hope prizes for women's events will now include breast enlargement. I've seen jokes citing specific top players' names as those who could be improved by it. 
Chess has struggled with sexism in the past, and this has done nothing to help prevent that. Where is FIDE punishing sexist comments, sexist attitudes? They ignore all sexual harassment reported to them. It's endemic to the very top from an anonymous title FIDE player. Again, I mean, without opening a can of worms, there are people in FIDE where there are, there are a lot of stories that have been said. So, um, and by that, I mean FIDE officials even. So it's very, um, yeah, it's, it's, you know, I, I will just say that I 100% agree with these comments so far. All right, let's keep going. We desperately need a sponsor. We play for less money than the men, which makes it more difficult to bet on chess. I hope it makes it easier for women to play professionally. Um, from from WIM Sheila Bar Stanford in an article for Dagbladet, which I think is a Nor is that Norwegian or Swedish publication. Um, but yeah, I mean, you, you need sponsors, but there's kind of, I, I, there's kind of a limit, I would say. Let's keep going. I think that it's okay for women to get breast implants if they want to, but I don't think it's okay to encourage women to do that. And that's what that's that's what is the problem with the sponsorship. I understand Fide wanted to get money for women, which is great. I really do encourage that, and I understand they had good intentions. But the message that they sent with it is not good. I mean, we can also make a funny solution. Let Motiva sponsor men events, and we can have one of the men's sponsors. Kind of a joke, but it would be cool from an anonymous female you know, player. Yeah, so it's like... Can you imagine that Magnus and I were playing in a tournament and you have a certain, certain, um, I don't know, like pill enlargement sponsor? Forget about it. That would never happen in a million years. Never happen in a million years. Never, ever, ever, ever. Um, so the fact that it's happening with like this, this women's sponsorship is, is, is ridiculous. Um, you would never get that. You, you would, you would never get that. Um, so let's keep going. I believe this, that sponsorship is hugely important for a game. On the one hand, it helps us to have more tournaments to develop chess and attract more players. On the other hand, it helps players to have better financial conditions. However, FIDE should be more wise with their choice of sponsors because it affects which message we are sending to the world. I don't think breast implants is the proper message for our game. Chess is a mental game. We care more about our brains than the shape of our body. From an anonymous title female player. Of course. All very logical comments. Okay. Keep going. The main thing is, is support for chess. For me personally, I'm happy if we have any sponsor for women in chess. And as long as it's not something connected to gender, racism, or drugs, or anything like, like that, I would generally support that sponsor. From I am Elizabeth Patz. Okay. Um, connected to... Okay, so I guess it's kind of like on the edge. Anyway, it's kind of on the edge. Let, let's keep going. All right. Um, we chess women are already subject to endless comments about our appearance. And it's not limited to our limited to our own appearances either. We are spoon-fed commentary on the appearances of other women. It's difficult to imagine a hobby less female-friendly than one in which the primary governing body is encouraging this very behavior and, by extension, encouraging women to think critically about their bodies, to give in to societal pressures to look a certain way, to perform femininity, femininity um, in an expensive and physical way. Shouldn't chess, a game reliant on brains rather than breasts, be distancing itself from that kind of a reductive and misogynistic line of thinking from a non-as female player. Of course, of course, all very logical. Um, uh, what is it? They, they, there's a clip, uh, not a clip. They show a video where they talk about someone who recounts her story of getting implant surgery because she was when she was 17, she didn't feel comfortable with her body. Yikes! Big yikes! Big yikes! All right. I have seen arguments about how it should be feminist for feminist for. for for women to get breast implants because they should have the right to choose what they want to do with their body and how they present themselves. While this is obviously true, I think the feminist rationalization gets thrown out the window when it is getting actively marketed and sold to women. Um, I don't want to debate this particular case because I've seen many people already do this. Instead, I want to talk about my experience with the pressures of growing up under the male gaze, specifically in chess. From a very young age, I was forced to learn that unwanted attention from men was not only unavoidable, but inescapable. Around the age of 13, I was already very active in my local chess community, going to every tournament and club available. Oh, well, this is going to be bad, I think. I wore a new shirt to, to a club one day and was feeling good about myself because it was a style I didn't usually wear. This changed when a man in his 60s came up to me when I was sitting with my friend and said, you're looking really good in that shirt with a disgusting smile as he looked at my chest. Oh, dear. The shirt was cut up to my collarbone and was long sleeved, but after close examination, I realized it was a little tight, and that alone was enough to get such an uncomfortable comment. These interactions not only got worse, but they also became a regular occurrence. I have many painful memories of several different older men trying to groom me to the point that I thought it was normal, or maybe that there was something wrong with me. Yeah. Um. 
Wow. Eventually, as a coping mechanism, I developed an eating disorder to deal with the trauma of never getting a break from sexual harassment. At the time, I thought I was doing it to become more attractive to men, and I attribute it mostly to having body dysmorphia. Recently, however, I have come to the conclusion that my intention was to be less attractive to men. I wanted to be skinny to the point of looking like a pre-adolescent child. The idea, however, subconscious was to go back to a point where I wasn't be being treated like a woman, but as a person. Wow. Yeah, this is, uh... Yeah, th this is this is tough to read, obviously. Um, I'll, I'll, finish, th I'll finish it, though, even, even though it's, it's, it's pretty tough. Um, I still feel the need to dress and act in a masculine way, never leaving the house without a big jacket to cover up. Of course, none of my efforts ever made a difference in how I was treated because I am not the problem. I think it is important to note how early women are taught their purposes or are taught their purpose in the world. The feeling that a woman needs breast implants to live to the role she has been given, to give into the idea that a woman's purpose is to be a sexual object, put on earth for men to enjoy, gawk at, and use, is similar to my flawed thinking that doing the opposite would magically make these issues go away. Society makes women feel in inadequate at every opportunity that offers a solution to her flaws, i.e. breast implants, verifying it was a problem with her all along, validating the people telling her she's not good enough, while ignoring the true problems and tossing her aside. We then mistakenly identify her newfound feeling of acceptance, or, per or perhaps belonging, as confidence. I see some people, men, are confused as to why it is so offensive that Fide would have a breast implant company as a sponsor for a women's event. Motiva is not a health-focused company. There is little to no mention of breast reduction or reconstruction on their website. They are selling breast implants and hiding behind women's health. I think the one word that comes to mind when writing this is inescapable. inescapable. Even in the highest levels of chess, you cannot escape. In conclusion, gross from an anonymous female player. Yeah, I mean, what can I say? This is, uh, this is, yeah, this is, this is pretty fair. Pretty fair. Um... Yeah, okay, let's, let's let's finish this. Okay, so chess is about being smart and strong, not pretty and useless. For me, the contract is simply ridiculous. I fail to understand how Fide can accept sponsorship from a breast implant company, which supports sexy Barbie looks rather than the intellectual side of women. I think it is a shame for our sport and that the sponsor contract was probably signed by a man from an anonymous titled female player. Also probably not wrong. Probably not wrong. Also probably true. Um, Yeah. The, the women getting implants to hide their insecurities are the ones who are not happy with their own looks. I do appreciate them trying to get money from whoever they can, can get. It is hard to get sponsors for chess, but that does not mean that they should accept everyone. There are medical reasons to get implants, but companies like, like, that, like this one are selling 80% beauty and 20% medical reasons. I think it is a shame, really, if we are trying to be taken seriously in such a male sport, we should not accept sponsorship from dubious companies selling pretty looks from an anonymous titled female player. So yeah, I mean, I'll, what I would basically say about this is it's pretty straightforward. First things first, I mean, they're, they're already, I've said it many times, chess is probably the skew is something like 90% male to female, if not higher, it might even be like 95.5, honestly. Um, uh, so if, if you look at the skew of how many males are playing the game, and it doesn't even matter what level, it could be it could be any level, like there, there are very few women who are playing the game. And the fact that you have a sponsor like this, which kind of are, just reinforces already the stereotype um, and makes a joke about women's chess and women in general is uh, really, 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 really bad. Um, I mean, I, I, I would say it should not be. It, it really is not what chess is about. And um, I think it's very poor that FIDE did this. Everybody wants more sponsors in the game. Um, but I, I really think that doing this sends a very bad, very, very bad, uh, very, very bad signal. Really, really bad signal. And it's, it's very disappointing. And probably Fiat is like, okay, well, you know, it's, it, people will get over this. It's not a big deal. And we're going to get our money. We're, we're going to get our money to sponsor this event. That's, that's what I really think it is. They just, they saw, they saw an offer and the money is more important than the overall look. Um, so, so now when I get back to that quote by Dvorkovic before, I mean, it just kind of shows that like what's really going on. I mean, people are, there are all sorts of different things going on with Mfide because I don't think Dvorkovic was involved probably with this sponsorship. And so he says one thing, but then you have a sponsorship from another part of the organization where you have people who are just not thinking at all. Um, and yeah, it's just, I'm, I'm disappointed. It's like, I mean, the perfect example is for, is for men's chess. You would never, you would, I, I'm just going to say this because why not? You would never have a penis pill enlargement company sponsoring a tournament with Magnus and myself. Uh, I, I can be, you, there are sometimes I see some of these sponsorships with like Chess 24 events. And I'm like, okay, it's a little bit odd, you know, a little bit strange, but there's nothing ever that's like, oh man, what's going on? But, you know, there would never in a million years be, be, a, be a penis enlargement company sponsoring an event that I'm playing in with Magnus. Just, I'm just going to say it because like, why not? Um, 
just never happening. It would never happen. They'd be like, well, no, I mean, Magnus is playing, you know, Magnus is playing like he's the world champion. You know, there's got to be this level of prestige. You, you would have this exact conversation um, where it would not happen because they'd be, they'd be like, whether it's me, whether it's Magnus, Levon, whomever, it's like, these guys are the best of the best. Like, there's got to be prestige around it. We're not going to, we're not going to take, a, we're, we're not going to take a sponsorship like that. They, they would totally say that. Um, hundred percent, they would turn it down. Uh, so that's why this is really, really disappointing. Um, and I mean, everybody wants more sponsors in chess, obviously, but to just not use their brains and just to take the sponsorship is really, really bad. Really, really bad. Um, and I, I, don't, I don't know what else to say. What am I talking about? Um, if, in case you just joined you guys, there's this article we're covering. It's about, uh, FIDE picks breast implant as a sponsor for women's chess. Uh, they essentially, they essentially, um, they, they essentially picked a, uh, they, they essentially picked a, you know breast enlargement breast enhancement company um essentially to to be a sponsor of of upcoming upcoming uh women's events in chess and it's uh yeah it's just bad that's that's all that needs to be said um it's like if a men's front were sponsored by deodorant i i think that's being too too um too generous i i, I mean that, that's being mild I, I think yeah as i said at the end of the day it's it's very it's very it's very bad um it's, it's very bad no no matter how you look at it it's bad and as i said there is a double standard because you would never have a penis pill enlargement company as a ma as a major sponsor for a uh for for a male chess event you would never have that ever 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 so yeah disappointing um and you would hope that i mean you really would hope that FIDE would cancel this contract and 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 do something else but they're they're probably getting a good chunk of change and so they're they're gonna be like well people will forget about it in a few months and we'll just go about on our merry way doing what we've always done and um very disappointing though very disappointing um so yeah all right um and and again the other thing one last thing i would add is the problem is what does this do if if you see other sponsors like um let's just say like fortune 500 companies just to just to use an example if they see if they see chess being sponsored by like breast a company that supports breast enlargement or you know penis pills or whatnot like that really does not bode well for chess in the long term like Companies are not going to want to be involved with with a game or a sport where you have these sorts of sponsors. It just looks very sleazy. Um, so so yeah, it's just whew, just awful all all around. Really really bad. Really really bad. Um, it's easy if all major players don't attend their turns. Yeah, but see that's the problem, you guys. That's not what happens though. That's not how it works because the problem is most chess players are held hostage by these turns because you don't make enough money. Um, you don't make enough money, so you have to play these tournaments. There are very few chess players who can be honest about what they think about the game without like basically being screwed over in a sense um you know it, it's it, that's actually true like these these, these 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 female players cannot come out and, and use their names and say these things um it, they just can't because then they'll get blackballed from the handful of tournaments that exist and they're not going to be able to make a living because that's how they make a living is is from playing tournaments um and so it's it's very very bad it's, it's very bad um that the, that's sort of the situation as it stands right now um and you would hope that it can change in the future, but uh, undoubtedly, what's going to happen is Fida will just come out and they'll say something. They'll say that I don't understand anything, and I'm just like I'm just trying to stir up drama. Unfortunately, instead of realizing, you know, what a bad look it is. But who knows? I mean, the future, future will show. Um, pretty sure they just won't invite invite you to tournaments. Um, yeah. So uh, okay, I, I've said this before, you guys, but I'll I'll give you an example, and and I'm going to talk about this from a male perspective, just like being a top chess player as a male, where there's a lot more money than than being female. If, if you look at if you look at top chess players in male in male terms there, there are a handful of terms in a year that have big prize funds so you know you can go play a tournament in Sharjah like Hans just did and and I don't know what the exact first prize is but let, let's say the first prize is about ten thousand dollars that sounds like a really good first prize right it's um it's ten thousand dollars if you win you know you play like six seven of these terms a year you could you could make a pretty decent living but in reality you're not going to win these tournaments outright the majority of the time if you're lucky you'll win one or two of them outright um and that's for like players who are 2600 um and so if you're at the top levels you have tournaments where the first prize might be up to fifty thousand. but again it's very limited tournaments and even this grand swiss has, has a pretty pretty big prize fund so fide can kind of just lock you out of these tournaments organizers can lock you out of these tournaments and then you just you, you can't make a living so people have to um people have to kind of uh you know they have to they, they have to play so they, they can't be critical they can't say anything because then, then they're, they're just going to lose and that, i'm talking about men here if you get to women it's even more reduced where they're even less tournaments for the very top female players where they can get ten thousand dollars or more for 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 first for first place finish um so yeah it's just it's all very very gross and um you know i figure in, in a position you know like 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 i have right now i should speak out on this because it, it is it is wrong and um and so i'm just you know i, I hope 
at some point people will listen and do something um you know do something i think they're, i think i think really just use use their brains use their brains plain and simple